Hey, Jeff. Thanks for the Pro Seal hat. I think I'll wear it today. What's up, guys? This is Marvin here at Wiscoat, but Dubuque Asphalt Maintenance as well. And we're heading down there today to Dubuque. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I purchased the lease rent for the office down there for a year. And today we're going to move some stuff down there, check it out, get things kind of situated in there. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to head down there. We're going to scope it out, check it out. And I'm, when, I, when I'm there, I'll kind of discuss why and what. Um, the other thing is we did file our articles for incorporation for the business down there too. So I'll go over that a little bit with you too. So there it is, Dubuque Asphalt Maintenance. So very excited. So we'll talk about that and then we'll do it from inside the new office. Let's go. All right, so here we are, Key City Creative Center. I hope this reads, it might be read backwards on the video, but oh well, this is where our office is. So it's a really cool hub uh, for Dubuque here. There's a lot of creative spaces and a lot of creatives in here. That's kind of the reason why I picked this spot. So you walk through oh, a wood shop area, there's an automotive and welding area, a crafts area, and then you get to the business side too. Um, it's a nonprofit that is really just a big house, a big old, they used to hold horses for the fire department and stuff here in Dubuque. So it's very cool. Um, a couple guys run it now. The owner, Tim, he's here once in a while. I've met him as well. So very cool. They have a lot of spaces that are all rented by other creatives and startups and things like that. There's a biz hub, which is a business center. And that's powered by Dupaco, which is a financial institute in the Dubuque area. Now we'll head to my side. So this is the business side. Like I said, I chose this side just because, or this spot, because of the creatives and the people that are here. Oh, but I'm excited for it. So these are all offices. And Dubuque Asphalt Maintenance has an office here. I'm out of breath carrying in office stuff and whatnot. Let's uh, pop in here and take a look. So this is the desk. I'll show you guys the view. Just beautiful, isn't it? That's downtown Dubuque. So that's the office and I hope my, don't, my phone doesn't fall. It's uh, wedged on an Echo Cup and a Wiscoat notepad. So. This is Dubuque, this is the office, this is where it's all gonna happen, where it's gonna go down. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose this place. I'll share with you the rent was three grand for a year. So I get a year by myself, three grand rent and make it happen here. Uh, it was a lot easier to save some money here at Key City um, by paying a full year. So uh, that's what we did. And now we're incorporated, we have an address here. Some of the key things I wanted to get taken care of before we started the business an address, a P.O. box. Um, you could get mail here, but it's complicated. So we just went with a physical address, a P.O. box, a storage unit, which we still haven't found, or an area to store trucks. We need to go get trucks of some kind, vehicles of some kind, estimate vehicle, truck vehicle, so we can pull a seal coat unit or something like that. We're gonna use one of the old seal coat units from Wiscoat as the seal coat unit for down here. Same with the crack filling unit, things like that. Um, it's all going to be right here. So we just got to make that happen. And uh, so that's going to be the next video or one of the next videos is getting the trucks. Now that I have that, we needed to incorporate our LLC. And I went to my accountant, my CPA. They took care of that for me. It's, you know, a few hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks. You might as well just have it done the right way by them. It saves you to do it if you have a CPA or an accountant or something like that. Um, but once we did that, we had an address, you know, it had to go in that order. You have the address for the LLC and, uh, you know, that's how you get it. You get your office and how to be, how to become an LLC. That's it. You make your business name up and then submit it and become it. We registered with Iowa for that, um, being as Dubuque is in Iowa. And, uh, from what I understand, I'll still file my taxes, obviously in Wisconsin though. Um, but we will have to 
pay some here in Iowa as well. So, you know, if I didn't have a CPA or an accountant that I trust and that I use, I don't know that I would go to another state and do it. I always checked with them beforehand to make sure that this move was logical and possible. So I would recommend doing that as well. And that's where we're at. So we did that, got our ad, you know, found the office, paid the rent out of my pocket. I'll end up reimbursing myself. So that's an out of pocket expense that I'll end up reimbursing myself for. And then same thing with the PO box. And then same thing with the first payment to the CPA to file the LLC. I have to pay that out of my pocket as well. So those are the three things. Now that we have that, we have the office space, we have our address, we have our tax ID. And when you when you become an LLC, you get your tax ID. So we have a tax ID. Now we can open a bank account. So that'll be our next move is to open a bank account. I'll fund the initial part of that, some of that with you know my own money to get us started for expenses um material things like that uh, stuff you're going to need supplies equipment whatever and uh, that'll be the start that'll be the kickoff for it so that'll be how we take care of that initial first run and then you know i'm going to get a debit card or credit card that's going to be specific for dubuque and i'll use that for my marketing for my facebook ads and my content creation that i'm going to use for that That'll be the first first go. So that's how you start a business. It's kind of crazy, a service business. You can start a business that easy. And that's how you become an LLC too, as well. So that's it for this week. Um, trucks are next, equipment, the fun stuff. And then once we get to that taken care of and we figure out what we're gonna do with the equipment and the trucks and everything, then I'll switch to marketing. And uh, I have a feeling that's gonna be a fun video to make. So. Thanks again for following along. I don't want to knock the camera off from Dubuque. This is uh, vlog number two of the journey for 2021. And one last thing, you can see some Iowa stickers and Wisco notepads and stuff in there. Be sure to like the video, click that little thumb up button. That helps out. And then subscribe, that's over here somewhere I think. So you can stay up to date and turn on your notifications. They should be up that way somewhere for all this for um that way you can stay up with the vlog they it will be categorized by itself but also share the videos you know if you're finding great value from it and you think other people will uh share them in the groups or wherever on social media and we'll catch you next episode of the vlog that'll be vlog number three thanks so much talk to you guys again soon